Welcome to my channel. Today we are making some bath scoops for a relaxing bath with skin nourishing ingredients. Our main skincare ingredient is cocoa butter containing amazing benefits for our skin. Cocoa butter is a type of vegetable fat that comes from raw cocoa beans. Manufacturers extract cocoa butter by roasting, stripping and then pressing cocoa beans to separate the fat. The remaining portion is turned into cocoa powder. Both forms are ideal, not only as a nutrient in chocolate, but in skincare too. I will transfer the cocoa butter to a double boiler. I just like this type of heating method because it is very gentle. But you could also use a microwave, and if you do so, be sure to use short increments of 30 seconds so you don't overheat the mixture. And for those who love chocolate, I'm going to show you how to make your own natural handmade chocolate with or without sugar, as you prefer. It's easier than you think, and you might already have all the ingredients you need. Let's move to the dry ingredients first. One is baking soda, that comes in powder form. The reason baking soda works so well is because it's alkaline and when combined with water, makes the water slightly more alkaline too. As soon as you add baking soda to water, it makes it silky without being slippery on your skin. It was a grandmother's beauty hack, after all. And to complement the baking soda, we add citric acid, a sharp tasting crystalline acid present in the juice of lemons and other sour fruits. Use the anhydrous version, meaning that there is no water in it. That way you prevent it from fizzing when it attracts moisture. It is also very smart to use a dehumidifier in your working area. The beauty is that when baking soda and citric acid are combined and then put in water, they undergo a chemical reaction that produces bubbles, which you see as the bath melt dissolves in water. I like to use a fork to mix both ingredients, but if you like, you can also use your hands or a spatula. The next step is optional, but if you want, you can use a colorant. If you use a mica, for example, you would mix it in with the dry ingredients. If you are using a liquid colorant, on the other hand, you would mix it with the wet ingredients that you will see in just a moment. In the meantime, our cocoa butter is completely melted and still very warm. And we want to be quick and proceed while it's still hot. Because these bath truffles have a lot of cocoa butter in them, as well as mica, I will add some polysorbate 80, which is an emulsifier that helps the cocoa butter disperse more evenly within the bath water. I also add a fragrance oil and you will find the exact recipe in the description where I will also leave all links to ingredients, tools and equipment that I am using or recommending. So we have our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients and it's now time to combine them. Mix quickly while the mixture is still hot, make sure everything is nicely combined. Then grab your ice cream scoop and form a little ball without pressing too hard into it so you keep the typical ice cream look on top, so to speak. I'm going to show you some packaging possibilities in just a moment, like if you want to give it away as a gift, for example. But most importantly, you want to make sure not to touch these because they will fall apart. And you have to believe me that they will be rock hard the next day, which for you will be just in a couple of seconds.
As a final touch, I'm going to sprinkle some biodegradable glitter on it, just for an additional pop. Let's come back and see how they turned out. It's the next day, and as promised, these are rock hard. Here are different ways how to package these, for example in a paper cupcake liner that you will find in a regular store, or these little baking baskets here, also very cute. If you have a very small truffle box like I have here, it would also look very cute as a gift. You can also just add it in a clear bag, like this cellophane here, and then decorate it with a ribbon or bows. And if you're looking for inspiration for packaging ideas, I have my Amazon storefront linked below as well, with materials organized in categories, and you can follow me there as well if you like. Now for those who want to make chocolate, you can use the food grade cocoa butter. This is the main ingredient for chocolate. To sweeten the treat, you can add regular sugar, but I like to use erythritol when making desserts. Another possibility is stevia. And then the raw cocoa powder for the dark, rich color. As a first step, you want to melt down half of the cocoa butter with a double boiler. And then add the sugar to it until fully dissolved. Then add some cocoa powder and mix well. Take it from the stove and add the other half of the cocoa butter. This way it will immediately cool down. You want to pour at room temperature and please do not spritz the top with rubbing alcohol. Let it harden in the fridge and then unmold. There you have a completely natural and healthy chocolate. If you're interested in other skincare recipes, check out the playlist on the screen where you can find many more. Feel free to subscribe and see you next time. Bye!